when I look at those pictures, I see enacted what they were telling me about, which was the trauma, the absolute horror of living at home and having been physically and sexually abused and having no way to talk about that. And now so many of our peers who um, are, some of them still performing, are just starting. So you're finding people who are in their 50s, um, older, starting to talk about that. What was your sense of that at the time? It's, yeah, uh, we never talked about it. <laughs> we didn't talk about it. Um, I was just texting the other day with the guy that I used to date back then, and and I asked him, because I know uh, he was sexually abused, and I said, did we talk about it back then? Because how did I know about you? But it wasn't until later, 20s maybe. I guess there were, no one talked about it back then, did they? I mean, not in my experience. Well, you have to remember... <clears throat> in the DSM, PTSD as related to a non-combatant didn't enter into the DSM, which is the medical diagnostic uh, book. I'm going to fuck this up, but you basically get the idea. I was in foster care when it just started, when they just started thinking that a non-combatant could suffer from PTSD. And there really wasn't the language. There was a few after-school specials, but it was it was just not there. And there was the idea that um, uh, the the family was still well. You, well, you had Reagan talking about the family and the importance of family, and Anita Bryant, and so. But yet, I would say that our common denominator. I think it's really interesting that we all put ourselves in uh, dangerous, physical, intimate experiences, you know, but the difference being that we put ourselves there, you know, and it was kind of like, and we all knew each other, so we could learn to trust each other, you know, we could learn to trust, uh, which was not something we knew about. So, I don't know, I've just been thinking about that lately. What's interesting is if, the, the lyrics, if you look back and read them, it's kind of available in a very kind of shadowy, um, oblique way. You can take it as metaphor, metaphor, the feeling of being unsafe, attacked, and but at the time, it's like, like telling a deeper truth.